our city is really starting to come together at 49k thousand population we've maintained an extremely healthy 92 percent traffic flow and our economy is impeccable with a massive 30 million bank and 50 weekly income our tutorial continues on how to quickly level up your campus and earn massive profit this is captain obvious and welcome to our ninth episode of our let's play series organic road layout this is a preview of the end result of this episode but before we start i want to give everyone who has been following the series a heads up that i did some offline work what i did was i went ahead and unlocked the tile with train access and did some terraforming added extra water facilities pipes and the basic things that no longer needs to be captured on video i think everyone can appreciate and understand that if you have been paying attention to the past episodes then you are aware that the first thing we do when we create a new district or area is to establish our tier one transportation then we're going to add in our road layout skeleton while simultaneously creating our city park and new campus area so first of all why build a campus anyway what are the benefits of having a campus what are the different pros of having a generic university compared to a campus university so a generic university has a small footprint in your city it just takes one building and you automatically have a student capacity of 4,500. However, you will have to create multiple generic universities to maintain your highly educated SimScout. Nevertheless, the small footprint would give you more space to zone and grow your city. However, majority of the time, not every space of the max 9 tiles is ever used. So it is better to fill that large gaps with campus university. Pro 1 Campus is earning profit at the end of the build. So when you achieve the prestigious reputation, your campus could earn more or less an additional 30,000 weekly income. A little extra money has never hurt anyone. Pro 2 Campus is that there are multiple creative design possibilities. This works much like Industries DLC, so instead of having the yellow industry zones or repetitive multiple offices around your city, you can create a variety of farming, oil, forestry, and or industries. The variety of things in your city makes it much more attractive and appealing to look at. Alright, so those are all great, so how do I quickly set up a campus? Tip number one. Have around 9,000 eligible for university education before making your first campus. Then, when you build your campus, deactivate or delete the current generic universities which will force all the students to transfer to the new campus. And that's how you get to the minimum requirement of 2,000 attending students to reach the prestigious reputation. If you build your campus too early before having roughly 9,000 eligible for higher education, then you're going to have a difficult time to level up and the campus expense will take a toll on your economy. Tip number two, to get the required academic works to level up your campus, raise the budget of your academic staff to 20,000 and give research grants in the beginning of every school year until you reach the prestigious reputation. It is until you achieve the prestigious reputation of when you'll be able to remove the budget for academic staff and start earning profit. Tip number three, to increase student capacity, avoid zero student capacity buildings for the meantime until you've maximized the level of your campus. The student capacity counter is found on the lower right of each campus building. Tip number four, use fountains and academic statue buildings to increase campus attractiveness. If necessary, feel free and build multiple statues when they become available. Tip number five, it is not necessary to have a varsity stadium. 
Stadiums do give an extra boost in attractiveness, however, it also increases the campus expenses. Therefore, I highly suggest to avoid adding a varsity stadium within the campus area, but you may add a stadium for the entire city. Just make sure that it isn't within the campus zone area. Tip number six, build the three unique buildings provided by the campus area. Campus DLC provides three different types of areas and each type provides three unique buildings that give certain boosts for your city. My number one choice on the type of campus area to build is the Liberal Arts College, which has the School of Education. I give this building five stars for usefulness because it increases all schools, including elementary and high schools to have more student capacity and educates more efficiently. Having this building reduces the need to make many elementary and high schools. There is also the School of Environmental Studies, which reduces garbage accumulation, another five-star building. I find this extremely helpful because less garbage means less garbage facilities. Third is the School of Economics, which increases revenue from local offices. Who would complain about earning more money? Therefore, this is another five-star building. I find that these three unique liberal arts buildings to be extremely beneficial and a must-have for any thriving city. Now, the downside of Campus DOC is that your schools can lose its reputation over time, especially when there is more than one campus in your city. Hence why the Liberal Arts College is my choice of campus because all three unique buildings are the most beneficial for my city. The second campus type is the Trade School, which has the School of Engineering. I give this building four stars. It provides increased income from generic industries and reduces water and sewage consumption. If your city has a significant number of generic industries, then this building is for you. Moreover, you don't need to build as many water towers, pumps, or sewage anymore. The School of Tourism and Travel provides more income from your commercial buildings. This is definitely a 5-star building. Police Academy increases the patrol car count, jail capacity, and improves the police department's efficiency. I give this 4 stars because if you have enough police stations scattered around your city, then crime shouldn't be an issue. And finally, the last type is the University Campus, which has the School of Law that reduces the upkeep of crime rate and police departments throughout your city. I'm giving this perk a 4 stars rating. My city rarely has any issues with crime, so overall, this is nice to have, but not absolutely necessary. This campus also has the School of Medicine, which increases ambulance count and patient capacity. I give this building 2 stars because it becomes obsolete, especially when you have the Medical Center, which is a monument available at the final milestone. It improves the health of all your citizens, has a patient capacity of 1,050 ambulances. Lastly, there is also the School of Science that increases revenue from specialized industries while reducing pollution and electricity consumption. I give this 2 stars because I prefer Industries DLC than Specialized Industry. The reduced electricity consumption becomes obsolete when you build the fusion power plant monument. Also, the reduced pollution will also become obsolete when you have the Eden Project monument. Although, be very, very careful when building the Eden Project because you will have a massive influx of sims that would move into your city which can cause a catastrophic death wave. Monuments will be a future endgame episode in this series. At this point of the video, our campus is currently at level 4 and we're just waiting for the school year to end to get that max prestigious reputation. 
the entire time what we've been doing is after each level up we've been giving grants to add more academic works adding more student capacity and attractiveness buildings that is required for the reputation level up and while we've been waiting for each school year to end around the campus area we've established a new district with a stadium that isn't part of the campus that stadium is completely disconnected from the campus area therefore it is a city stadium And finally, we've reached the campus prestigious reputation in just five in-game years. Now we can remove the budget for academic staff and if you can afford it, feel free to keep giving 50,000 research grants and occasionally change the category of the grant. There is a total of 48 academic works which you can collect for each campus type. However, there are no in-game value if you collect them all and if you actually just play normally, you'll eventually collect them all anyway. And as a reward for achieving prestigious reputation, the city is awarded with a unique campus museum. There are three unique campus museums in total and this is where all the academic works that you've been collecting are being stored. Now let's check the status of our city. Our new campus is earning about 30,000 per week and our population is now at 61,000 and yet our traffic flow is still at 92% and our bank and weekly income is just unbreakable. Since we just unlocked the museum, let's immediately put it to good use. I will replace the posh mall with the museum then we are going to add a tram line for our in-district mode of transportation and lastly add the final touches of the overall district. We are nearly at the final milestone of 85k population. If you want to see what the city would look like at over 100k population, make sure you're subscribed and along the way, we will of course continue with all the DLC tutorials, tips and tricks. If there are any vanilla tutorials you are looking for or I haven't done, feel free to comment down below or just write what you like and did not like about the episode or overall series. This is Captain Obvious, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.